Tenen. Right, um, this is the Roasters Bundle. It's a collaborative project among um, different roasters to raise funds for our Philippine Aeropress champion, Sir John Eric Enopia. So, the Roasters Bundle is a unique, unique um, compilation of different coffees from different roasters from different origins. In this box, we have, I think, eight different brands. So, let's just do a quick recap. We have coffees from Franken, Franken Roasters, from Sinag Coffee, Origins Coffee, Bodega Coffee Roasters, The Red Soil, South City Coffee Roasters, Taste Notes Artisan Coffee, and The Cooking Dad Coffee and Roastery. So, we have eight different brands here of eight different coffees. So, I want to try four different coffees. I'm just going to pick out of the bunch. Origins, Papua New Guinea, an exclusive coffee for the fundraising efforts of the Roasters Bundle. South City Coffee Roasters, this is Marivicto Bria. Sumatra, Indonesia from Bodega Coffee Roasters. And last, Franken Roasters. So I actually already brewed this coffee. So today we are cupping four different coffees from the Roasters Bundle. This video is going to be part one of a two-part series of cupping the coffees from the Roasters Bundle. Right, so for those of you who are not very familiar with cupping, so what we do in cupping is we get a certain amount of coffee, grind it to a medium to medium coarse grind setting, and then put it in a bowl. This is what you call a cupping bowl. You can even use a normal glass, like a small glass, that would contain maybe around 200 to 250 ml of water. And then you put water in it at a certain temperature. And then you wait for 10 minutes before you can, you can taste it. There is another step before, before you will be able to taste it, but that's, that's the gist of it. You wait for 10 minutes before you can actually taste the coffee. You continuously try and taste the coffee while it is cooling down temperature-wise, right? Right, so I have my scale here, and we are going to measure 13 grams per coffee. And that um, the amount of coffee to be used in the cupping bowl is dictated by the bowl, by the vessel, right? So if you follow 1 is to 15 ratio, so you have a, uh, you have a 200 ml cupping bowl, then you divide that to 15. If you divide that to 15, then you get 13 grams, like something 13.5 like that. We're going to use setting number 8 on your fellow opus. Yeah, and because we need a lot of water, I'm going to be needing to use my Kappa CWK100 for this brew. So I'm going to heat it up to 95 degrees Celsius. So our water is ready. We're going to do this really quick. So we have one timer for, for all of them. Start. Okay, so when you pour your water, make sure that every single cough, like every single floating coffee grounds, you make sure that you pour onto that directly so that they sink. And you make sure that they are all wet. Right, now we wait for four minutes and then we're going to break the crust, degas the coffee and continue the brewing process and wait up to 10 minutes before we can try and taste it, right? We are now at 3 minutes. The water that I'm using today is mineralized by Aquacode. 
and you can get aqua code from coffee central now we're gonna start breaking the crust and let the coffees sink there and then we're gonna scoop out all the foam that is on top of the coffee yeah if you if you are doing this at home yeah it's it's also nice to try and get the smell of each and every coffee that you are cupping when you break the crust because that is when the smell is strongest the sumatra beans have a like a darker foam now that we have um, broken the crust on top and then we have, we have we've already scooped out the foam that formed we're gonna wait up to 10 minutes before we can actually taste it the coffee grounds are being extracted right now um, since we have a medium coarse grind setting um, they are being extracted at a much slower pace that's why we need to wait 10 minutes before we can actually taste it let's start with the origins of course this is the first one that we poured earlier so it says here that you are to expect berries pear chocolates and that it is juicy i can definitely taste the chocolates and the berries but it is not juicy right now the taste the flavor and the profile of the coffee changes over time so maybe let's wait a bit more on that Mount Apomarivik Dubria, anaerobic natural. Um, this is the same coffee that I used in the Philippine Coffee Expo bar takeover. Um, yeah, this is, I actually promoted this coffee during the time and I really like this coffee, but I haven't, I haven't tried to cup it. I only brewed it with a V60. Right, so now we're gonna try it. The peach and the lychee is on point, actually. Um, if you manage to get your hands on the roaster's bundles, cup it yourself at home. It's gonna be a different experience when you cup your coffee and um, when you brew them on your V60 or your origami or your Oria. This is what I'm most excited about because this is wet hulled processed coffee and it's going to be the first time that I'm going to be able to try a wet hulled processed coffee. This is Sumatra, Indonesia, Sigarar Utang Andung Sari from Bodega Coffee Roasters. Right, so the flavor profile says here that it's, it, it has a taste of apple, milk, and brown sugar. So the apple, I would assume that it is, um, it's malic quality, like the sweetness of the coffee. So let's try. The milk may be the texture or the body. Or, and then the brown sugar is like it's like the reflection of the roast, like caramelly aftertaste. It's actually a bit thin. The body is a bit thin. I think this will benefit more if you brew it on a pour over. But I'm only getting the brown sugar aspect of this. Columbia La Palma y El Tucan from Franken Coffee Roasters. Flavor notes is of orange watermelon and cola i'm getting more like a nutty experience out of this coffee i'm not getting any orange or watermelon more like a sweet peanuts or like moscovado and brown sugar something like that yeah maybe this um, coffee from franken would also benefit more when you brew it on a pour over than with cupping yeah okay um after the first round of tasting we are going to wait a little bit more maybe after 20 minutes when the coffees are a bit more on the lower temperature yeah and then we're gonna try again i'm gonna start with the papua new guinea coffee from origins it's a lot juicier right now and I have the I have a more distinct flavor of chocolates 
Next, I wanna try the South City Coffee Roasters, the Marivic Dobria. We are getting the full experience of the South City Coffee Roasters right now, the Marivic Dobria Mount Apo. The peach and the lychee is still in front. And then you get this like subtle plum and cacao when you swallow the coffee. Moving on to the Sumatra Indonesia coffee. Um, it's a lot more tame now. The body is a bit thicker now. Um, maybe it is wise if you brew this coffee, use a lower temperature. Yeah, and I'm getting the apple and brown sugar at the same time right now. Next is the Colombia La Palma EL Tucan from Franken Coffee Roasters. It's more like the taste of panocha right now. Panocha is a snack. It's a sweet snack here in the Philippines. So what it, it looks like this. So it is brown sugar caramelized with peanuts. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's exactly like that. What I'm tasting with the Franken coffee is completely different from what they've put on the packaging. Yeah, maybe in the future we can um, try and brew these coffees again. And I'm gonna write down my I'm gonna write down my notes right now when I'm copying so that I can reflect on it after. If you want to get your hands on this amazing amazing compilation of different coffees from different roasters and of course you want to help our um, philippine representative for the 2024 world aeropress championship um, to be held in lisbon portugal get the roasters bundle get in touch you may get in touch with sir john eric enopia you can search for their accounts on facebook and instagram just message them that you want a roaster's bundle. This is sold for only 2,000 pesos. It comes with eight different amazing coffees. And it's a compilation that you don't want to miss, all right? So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye! We're going to do part two soon. Um, maybe... I'm just gonna try and let the coffee go out first. <laughs> then we're gonna try part two, like the second half of the roaster's bundle, right? Get it now while, while they still have stocks, right? <laughs>